Right, turns hook. Right, hook. Leadership, a cornerstone of the Air Force. Um, I think leadership to me is to be able to influence other people. Regardless of what level you're at, you can be a leader. So I obviously think ALS is really important. ALS is the first of many leadership courses airmen can look forward to in their military career. The course prepares senior airmen to use their influence in positions of greater responsibility and help shape them into effective leaders. ALS takes those individuals as airmen, they haven't experienced a whole lot. They haven't seen anything besides their career field and it allows them to see different perspectives of what the Air Force is doing. You know, we're getting the frontline supervisors. So the very first time they're sitting down an airman to do an airman comprehensive assessment, the very first time they're sitting someone down who's maybe got like some marital problems or something like that, and we're preparing them to handle those situations. Recently, Mountain Home Air Force Base's Airman Leadership School was awarded the A-1 Enlisted Military Professional Education Team of the Year, beating out 78 other PME courses across the Air Force. I think our ALS won the best PME in the Air Force because we're constantly being pushed to innovate. You know, I'd say our, our ALS here is unique. We, we do things a little bit differently here than maybe they do at other ALSs. You know, this new commandant came in and was not satisfied with the status quo, and she kind of pushes us to say, okay, this is your new program, how can you make it better? She definitely encourages us uh, to come up with better ways to do things, which we push a lot in the Air Force, um, but I've never seen that from a leader quite like I have from our commandant. These mentors of today use their skills and experiences to shape tomorrow's leaders. Leadership, the way I thought of it in the beginning was, you know, reading a book. They're going to tell you what to do. But as time has progressed, you know, it's getting that book and molding it to what fits you and making you your own type of leader and getting people to follow you. Yes, I rose. Get it. ALS provides guidance that airmen can use as they move up throughout the ranks. Those foundational skills early on, people continue to use them as they go. And we often have chiefs come in and talk about how they're still using the tools that they learned at ALS. And so I think that we're catching them at an early enough level that we're getting supervision done right the first time at the lowest level. And then as they progress, obviously, that, you know, those tools are going to go with them. The course offers senior airmen a unique environment where they can be themselves while learning to lead, follow, and manage. Staff Sergeant Wilson offers her advice to future ALS students. And I think that the most important thing is for people to come in with an open mind. You know, as you're coming up the ranks, you have a lot of experiences already by the time you get to ALS. We're not necessarily trying to re-blue you, but we are trying to, you know, teach you the correct way that things are supposed to be done so that, you know, from this point forward you can make those changes that would improve their work center, would improve uh, their leadership ability. After graduation, the students become teachers as they return to their workstations, ready to lead their fellow airmen. And the ALS instructors? They gear up for the next class. From Mountain Home Air Force Base, I'm Airman First Class, Sataya Burton.